Hello friends, I'm Rajiv Kumar, your secretary to the board of AMDA. Thank you for electing me twice to serve on the board. Thank you to the nominating committee for thinking of me for the position of vice president of AMDA on such a wonderful slate. It is an enormous honor to even be considered for this position, and I will certainly not take it lightly. Either my good friend Milta or I will have a four year term on the executive committee if chosen. And we will have such a great opportunity to shape the future of our society. I assure you though, you can't go wrong with either choice. During my tenure as a board member and on the various committees and subcommittees I've served on, as your delegate to the AMA and as a longstanding member of AMDA, I've always tried to do my best to represent AMDA and our interests. I've authored more than 25 resolutions that I've brought to the House of Delegates on behalf of my home state, Illinois. I've written articles, created numerous educational presentations, webinars, and podcasts, helped with fundraising for the Futures Program, and I've taken our resolutions that have passed through our House of Delegates to AMA to change the way the world thinks of us and our work. I've done all this in an attempt to help us grow stronger and expand our influence and reach. Needless to say, it has been a blessing to work with my fellow board members, committee members, and especially our dedicated AMDA staff who have together made this a very memorable journey. Together, our AMDA family has weathered the worst pandemic the world has seen in more than 100 years. And even though we endured too many hardships to count, we have stuck together and survived. My goal, should you choose me as your vice president, is to continue our good work as outlined in our board's strategic plan. And the board is envisioning a bigger, smarter, and more diverse and inclusive AMDA that emerges as the single most influential organization representing professionals and patients in post-acute and long-term care. There are many facility-centric organizations that crowd this space today, but we remain the sole organization that advocates for patients and the professionals serving them. We have reversed the trend of a declining membership at AMDA by creating practice group network, expanding our leadership group, and by creating joint membership programs with sister organizations like GAPNA. We intend to build mutually beneficial partnerships with vendor services that can provide group benefits to members while creating additional revenue streams for AMDA. A fiscally strong AMDA is the base for a robust advocacy platform for our profession and those we serve. I've talked about all these topics previously in my past election speeches. And now during my tenure on the board, I've ensured that they're part of our strategic plan. I sincerely request your vote and support so that I can continue the work needed to realize our goals so that we can continue to grow our AMDA into a bigger, stronger, and welcoming family that everyone in post-acute long-term care would love to be a part of. Thank you and be well.